Hey everyone, it's Rod with Power Group. Welcome back on the Pursuit of Wealth, your home for MJ Stocks, crypto assets, news, and interviews. Today is Monday, December 11th. I hope you're well, and I hope you had a great weekend. In this video, we're gonna do an update on Tilray Brands. We'll take a look at the TLRY chart, what to expect in terms of the price action in the days, weeks, months ahead. Getting a lot of requests on this to do an update on the technicals. So we'll do some technical analysis, and there is a daily downtrend that's on watch. So we'll take a look at some key support and resistance levels and what to expect, like I said, in the days, weeks, months ahead. But this is not financial advice. This is for entertainment and informational purposes only. You should never buy or sell anything based on anything that I say or write. And you can like this video, subscribe, tick the bell. You'll be notified on any future videos or whenever I go live. And then also you can follow us on X, which is formerly Twitter. Handle for that is at Group Pow. And then we recently signed up for Rumble and Odyssey platforms as well. You can follow us over there by typing in Pow Group. And then I'm gonna bring up Tilray on the Moomoo Moo desktop app. So that's what I'm using right now. I'm really liking the desktop app. They have a mobile app as well, but Moomoo Moo is the sponsor for today's video. If you're not familiar with Moomoo, Moo, they're a Silicon Valley based online broker. They provide comprehensive market data, research tools, etc. They offer free level two market data. They have some of the lowest trading fees I've seen per trade, about $1.99 on average. And I hear people saying all the time that they're still spending anywhere from 10 to $15 per trade. So with Moomoo, you can get as low as $1.99. And they have some incredible incentives going on at the moment. Right now, they have a cash sweep program with unprecedented 5.1% APY on your uninvested cash. And there's no minimum deposit or balance requirement. You can just begin with an amount that suits you. There's no cap on the interest you can earn through the program and the interest accrues automatically. And there's no manual redemption necessary. And most importantly, your funds are safeguarded by FDIC, offering insurance coverage up to $1 million at partner banks. And that's not all. In addition to the 5.1% APY, new users can receive up to 15 free stocks by opening an account and depositing funds. So we'll give you a couple of examples. If you deposit $100, that earns five free stocks. Deposit $1,000, you can get a total of 15 free stocks. Or if you transfer your eligible assets to Moomoo, you can receive a cash reward of up to $400. So I'll leave links for this in the description and in the comment section below. Diving into the Tilray chart here at the moment. So we're back in the daily equilibrium pattern. So we had this tightening range. We had our high, low, lower high, higher low, lower high, higher low, bull break. Now we're back within that range. We are holding this support trend line here, but at the moment we are at risk of a daily downtrend. So we have our high here, high the bounce at 209. We have our low at 178, and then a lower high here at 193. And we're basically double bottom with the low of Friday right now. So the low of Friday was 183, today we hit 183, so it's a double bottom. But if we lose 183 into tomorrow, with a potential for multiple daily inside bars going into tomorrow and tightening ranges on the daily, if we lose 183, then it's all about support there at 178. If we lose 178, then it's daily downtrend confirmed because that would give us our high, low, lower high, and lower low. So if we lose 178, we can expect to pull back to the low there at 172 and then we have the double bottom there at 161. So the most important support going forward is going to be 178. If bulls manage to defend that support level, then that will avoid the daily downtrend. But again, if bears win and we drop below 178, then we're going to be targeting 172 and then after that we have no support until 161, which is the double bottom there. And we're still looking for the monthly uptrend to confirm the S&P 500 broke to a daily higher high today. I mentioned on one of my previous videos that it was the second highest weekly candle close ever. So I expected potential for more upside into this week. And sure enough, we broke to a daily higher high today. We're less than a percent and a quarter away from all time highs on the S&P 500. So with that being said, the S&P 500 still hasn't confirmed a weekly uptrend. So it's likely due for weekly consolidation at some point soon. MJ not set up that well at all if we see weekly consolidation and a pretty decent but healthy pullback on the broader market, right? We went from 409 to all-time highs, uh, pushed, I think we hit 462 today on the S&P 500. So went from 409 to 462 without even confirming a weekly uptrend. We haven't consolidated or pulled back in the weekly time frame on the S&P 500 now in seven weeks. So it's due and that would not be great for MJ and specifically Tilray because of the fact that that would be tons of headwinds and selling pressure in the sector and on Tilray itself. So like I said, we're watching this daily time frame here all about 178 if we lose that daily downtrend confirmed weekly consolidation will be underway and then like i said we can expect support there at 172 and 161 but the most important thing for me is the monthly time frame so we need to confirm monthly uptrends so we have our low just scroll over here so we have our low here at 150 we have the high of the bounce at 340 we're looking for a higher low here which is a double bottom like i said at 161 
So if we can get 161 to hold and then break above 340 from here, then monthly uptrend would confirm and that's what we're looking to see across all of our names. We also had the Golden Cross as well with the 50 day coming up through the 100 and the 200 day moving average. But we came back down, we actually saw another death cross. So it's been choppy action, but realistically the most important time frame is the monthly time frame. If we can break 340 from here, hold the low at 150, break 340, confirm monthly uptrends. Like I said, we still have tax loss harvesting going on to the end of the year. And then I think the most likely scenario is we get a DEA response on HHS recommendation at some point in Q1, Q2 of 2024. But there was an interesting article you can see here. You can use all these technical analysis tools as well in Moomoo for free. So you have trend lines, you have your patterns, right? You have your head and shoulders, you have your fib retracement tools. Uh, you can also do paper trading as well. It can win like a iPhone 15 and other hot Apple, Apple products as well just by using fake money and paper money. So they have some contests there as well. But you can, I highly encourage you to do it with paper money as well, right? Like before you start uh, using any lump sum or large sums of money, you wanna definitely practice with, with paper money first. But then you get your tools, your analysis, your quotes, everything all within the app. Like I said, I really like this this app, this desktop app. It's been great to use so far. And like I said, I sent some money over to Moomoo, Moo, just waiting for it to arrive. And then I'll be doing a tutorial on it a little bit later on as well. Uh, but like I said, desktop app is awesome and they have it on the mobile as well. So you'll never miss a beat. But there was some news articles out today uh, so obviously, they came. Tori came out with some delicious and healthy baking rec recipes for the holiday season. Uh, they talked about some new product lineups as well, which they had some new drinks and stuff like that, some new strains. And then there was an interesting article here from what was it, The Motley Fool? Everyone is talking about Tilray brand stock. Is it a good long-term option? So Tilray could one day be a, gar a gargantuan an integrated seller of MJ and alcohol. Its business is currently held, being held back by inefficiency as well as by regulations. It'll take years for the strategic ambitions to be realized if they're possible. And they basically just talk about how it's not profitable. Uh, Tilray's shift into making alcohol means that the vision for its future is now a lot bigger. The long-term case for holding Tilray. So I'm not gonna go through all of this, but again, this is all within the Moomoo app as well. Uh, there are safer options for long-term holding. So, you know, they kind of paint that picture of, you know, they kind of say that it's a potential, they give you a, basically both sides of the coin, right? They say that everybody's talking about it. Is it a good long-term investment option? They start off by saying, you know, it could be massive, but then they kind of end it with a FUD piece, right? And they talk about profitability and whatnot. But what does this remind you of? And I know I'm gonna ruffle a few feathers here, but it reminds me of Tesla, right? And I know what people are gonna say, what are you talking about? This isn't electric vehicles, this is MJ. How can you, how dare you compare those two, right? <laughs> I'm not comparing that. If you do, you have an IQ, if you think I am, you have an IQ of less than five, I'm sorry, but it's true. Um, what I'm comparing is the media, what the media is saying, what is mainstream media? And The Motley Fool is not news for the, classes it's news for the masses right they just want you to think a certain way it's the narrative right the herd they're trying to you know get it's same thing with cnbc and investing.com it's the herd mentality right that mainstream media mentality and they said the same thing about um tesla everybody's talking about tesla but is it a good long-term investment option oh well they're not profitable they make less cars in a in a year than toyota makes in a month and now tesla super profitable and they make way more they have they, they, they're worth more than every other auto manufacturer out there, right, combined. So, you know, it, it's the same thing, you know, and it, it they try to say that it's a good, is it a good long-term option? It's not profitable. They try to, you know, make everybody unsure about the investment. But at the end of the day, Tilray is going to be an absolute juggernaut, a gargantuan. I would 100% agree with that. And all of their alcohol brands are set up well. Once federally permissible in the U.S., they can just add MJ infused to that, right? So everything is very, very well branded and uh, just everything that they do is planned out for the long term. But, you know, it's more than just alcohol in mind. They, all of their brands, all of their, you know, their long term plans revert back to MJ. And like I said, these mainstream media articles, you know, they can have some truth to them and they can be beneficial, but most of them are just fluff and, uh, we all know that Tilray Brands is going to be one of the biggest MJ companies in the space. I can't see this company going anywhere. Um, you know, they they recently increased their shares as well. But um, I'm like I said, we we need to expect this. If the companies if companies aren't profitable, you know, eventually they're going to have to issue shares. They're going to have to dilute, right? They're going to have to tap the equity market. So 
until, you know, maybe three, four quarters from now, we could see Tilray in the positive category. We could see them hit profitability. Could take a little bit longer than that as well, but there's lots going on right now in the U.S. Potential rescheduling. There's uplisting and to the safe uh, to um, safer banking uplisting to the nice in the Nasdaq. There's Germany coming online. Germany is going to be a huge huge market, and Tilray is going to absolutely dominate that one as well. And the vote was delayed until 2024, so we should see that come online. I'm very very bullish for the long term for Tilray. Like I said, not really looking that great here in terms of technicals with the daily downtrend potential. So it's all about the low there at 178. Keep an eye on SPY as well. 454.31 is the low of last week. So if we lose that, we start weekly consolidation. That's going to spell trouble for the MJ Space and Tilray as well. And then, like I said, if we lose 178, daily downtrend confirmed. Then we look for support at 172 and then the key double bottom there at 161. So 161 going to be very, very important. But realistically, we're just looking for a monthly higher low and then a monthly uptrend to confirm. So we have the low at 150, high at 340. We're looking for a higher low compared to 150. And then we'll look to break 340 to confirm the monthly uptrend. And the more names that do that in the sector, the better. So check out Moomoo in the, I'll leave links in the description and in the comment section below. I say there, there's a couple people that talked to me about it and said they were gonna sign up. Uh, like I said, I'm really enjoying it so far. I'll have to check your region as well to see if they're available. But if you're in the US, like I said, you can take advantage of that cash sweep program and they're available all across the US. All right, going down it there, it's Rod with Power Group. Thanks again for joining us in the pursuit of wealth and we'll see you again on the next video.